Hey friends, today is our third stop on our epic Disney World Resort hopping staycation and I'm really excited for this resort because I've only been inside of it like three times so to actually stay here, that's pretty awesome. Anywho's, let's go do this. And the resort that I'm talking about is the newest Disney World Resort, the Riviera Resort. I'm very excited to actually be staying here because like I said, I've only visited maybe three times. Let's take a look inside the lobby area. My room is not ready yet because I actually put in a room request. So now we can explore a little bit. Oh, I wouldn't mind taking a dip in this pool. Yeah. I'm just kidding, that's not a pool. So please nobody jump in there. The lobby in here smells amazing. And I think it's coming from the cafe right over here. I think maybe we'll get ourselves a little drink and a snack while we wait for our room. This place actually has some amazing coffee, but they also have Bud Light on tap. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna go with. I decided on getting a pumpkin cream cold brew, but take a look at these desserts. Very good. But what I'm deciding on getting is these little ditties right here. I love them. And there it is, the pumpkin cold brew and the mandolines. But now we need to find a cool place to sit down and relax. Maybe somewhere in the lobby. And wow, these chairs are really comfortable. I can't wait to try these. I absolutely love them. I had them before, so I'm not gonna try them, but I can't wait to taste them. Look at that little label too. It really makes it fancy. Oh, they look so delicious. And they are so delicious. They actually make these in-house. So they're not like brought in and they're actually prepared by a chef by his own recipe. I love that. Those were absolutely delicious and really kind of lifted me up a little bit. Like I said, I was pretty hungry. If you guys don't know, Magic Kingdom went full Halloween today. So I was there earlier in the day. I went home, I edited the vlog and you probably won't see this until like two weeks after Magic Kingdom has been already decorated Halloween, but that's why I was a little famished. And just like that, I got a text message that our room is ready. Room number 8985 on the ninth floor. So we're going all the way up. So this is the resort, and you can see it's actually pretty big. We're gonna be staying in the East Wing. I don't know whereabouts, but wow, I haven't realized how big this actually is. And I guess we're going this way, 8981. Ooh, I love that picture. Very nice. This is so clean and crisp in here, but my voice is also echoing. 8983, 8985, that's us. Thank you. Now we're actually in the room. I came in and, you know, turned the lights on and set it all up so I can give you the grand tour. But I have to say already, I really love this room. Like, I really love this room. I love the smell of this room. I love how it's so bright and there's a lot of cool things. So let's get to the tour. First things first, you walk in and you have this big open space because the closet is right there. And then double bathrooms. Yep, look at this. Stand up shower, you know I love those. And then right over here, bathtub with a fancy shower head. Look at that. And then we got a nifty little sink vanity area. Oh, hello there. Oh boy. Well, hello there. But just take a look at the view as you're like sitting in the bathroom. This is huge, isn't it? Well, this leads into another room, but I mean, this has probably the most spacious entry point out of any of the rooms I've been to so far. Then we got our little kitchen area right here. Comes with a microwave and coffee maker, fridge. Fully stocked. And yeah, I like it. Nice cupboards too. Oh, I was going to say, if they had French vanilla creamer, this resort would win. And just take a look at the open floor plan in here. Like this is huge. And it probably has the most places that you can actually sleep out of all the resorts. First look at the bed. That is gorgeous. And I like how they had the little dresser drawers down here. And then underneath the TV, we have that little day bed. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, it has a light too. I like that. But then right over here, instead of having a pull-out couch, or actually, I think it is a pull-out couch, and something else. And let's check, does the couch pull out? No, it doesn't pull out. But, it does do this. Oh, look at that. 101 Dalmatians. You have got to be kidding me. That is amazing. Wow. Probably my new favorite thing right there. That is just amazing. So, as you clearly can see, we have bed, bed, and bed. And this is a studio here, guys. Look at that artwork right there. And then also, you have these little nifty chairs right here. And I want to show you another pretty cool place that you can definitely take a nap at. This little cubby right here. Look at this. <laughs> You can literally take a nap down here. Like I said, there are a lot of things that make me love this room. I really do. It's got to be one of my favorite resort rooms. It's kind of crazy because this room looks totally different from when I first walked in here. When you open up all the beds and stuff, seriously, it looks like a different room. I'll fix now though. Wow. Totally different room. But now, let's get to business. And when I mean business... I mean, balcony business. You notice there's a lot of double R's in this resort because it's the Riviera Resort. And you can see them right here, RR. And now we're gonna take a look at our view. Ooh, ooh, RR. These are fancy doors. Oh boy. Oh wow, guys, I love the view. But there might be an issue with the sunrise. Like I said, the sunrise is on the east. You can see Caribbean Beach down there, which would probably be east is this way. And we have a little obstruction. And I can't go any higher. We're already on the highest floor. So I don't know. Maybe we might get it like right here. I guess we'll find out. I mean, I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. regardless. But honestly, this is a beautiful view. I mean, absolutely. I wish that I can get the sunrise with the Skyliner, but the earth just doesn't work that way. The patio size itself is kind of small. I do like the furniture though. I mean, it's all metal, but they get extra points for the RR. And then take a look at all the nifty stuff you get to look at. That wonderful splash pad with the elephant on top of it. Then you got a little beach right over here. Caribbean beach right there. And then I'm not sure what that big uh, hotel plaza is there. That actually might be the Wyndham at Bonnet Creek. Huh, maybe. It is still, like I said, just wonderful. I wouldn't mind crawling in that grass down there. If you guys get that reference, just let me know. Like I said before, this is Disney's newest resort. So it's got the fanciest like coffee pot and the newest microwave. So, you know, a little bit, a little bit nicer. I wonder if this mirror actually folds down into a bed. Wouldn't surprise me. But because it is new, it hasn't like kind of made that cult classic impact. Do you know what I mean? Like the legendary status. It's not like Grand Floridian status or even Pop Century or the All-Star Resorts. It's gotta be around a little bit more and people have to connect with it and make memories. And then it'll get there like all of the other Disney resorts. Normally, I only like to show off the closet if it's gigantic and you can get lost in it. But this closet in here is really fancy because it's a big one and it's got a light that turns on when you open it. Look at that. And you got two extra pillow blanket sets. It's probably because of the beds. But this is a pretty big closet. You could definitely sleep in here too. Yeah. Wow. Is that what? What is this magic? It's a laundry basket. Am I correct? But is it a collapsible laundry basket? That doesn't work. I feel like I can give out rewards for the craziest things when it comes to the resorts. You know? Like most unique places to sleep. Most fanciest up-to-date thing. It's even got an own vacuum. I like it though.
One thing I do, like I said, want to point out and express is how open everything is in here. I feel like when you're staying in a resort or in a hotel, you kind of have to watch where you walk. But like, just watch me walk with the camera. Like, you can just like walk all over the place. There is just so much open room. And I love that. No problem at all. See? we're gonna try to do now because Topolino's is a very popular place we're gonna try to join the walk-up list which actually it says walk-up list is at capacity so we're just gonna have to keep on trying oh wow tell me I just got it on the first shot that would have been pretty amazing no not so fast I don't like that they do that <laughs> kind of like rubbing it in your face not so fast we're gonna keep on trying, but we're gonna walk around the resort a little bit. Go down and see some of the lounges. We've already went to the coffee and like the lobby bar area. So now we're gonna see what's on the outside and then hopefully Tobolino's to get the little, uh, little dinner. Little dinner. <laughs> I've been having no luck actually getting on the waiting list at Tobolino's, but then I realized I'm on the ninth floor. It is literally like one floor up and like a minute walk to get there so might as well go see if they got something at the lounge and here it is what a beautiful entryway i have to say and lucky for us they do have a lounge area that we can actually just go to this is a beautiful restaurant guys i love it up here and i also love the views it has an amazing outside sitting area and this is the lounge itself you can come up here, no reservation needed, and uh, it's first come, first serve. Because I wasn't expecting me to actually get in here right away, I brought my own beer with me, so I'm going to order a drink, sit down at this table right here, and take a look at that view out there. Beautiful, right? But seriously, just take a look at that viewing area there. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I absolutely love this resort. And wait till we actually go out on the balcony. And here is a little correction. They don't actually serve dinner in here or any food or even appetizers. Uh, they used to do it. And that's the last time I actually ate here. Uh, I ate with uh, Josh and Taylor and Jackie, but uh, it's not a thing anymore. And because of this tremendous occasion, I decided, look at that coaster, to get myself a fancy French beer. This is the Cronenberg 1669, and uh, I've had this before. I really like it. It's pretty delicious. Look at the glass, though. This is a good drink right here. Since it's actually pretty hard to get a reservation here and I can't order food, we'll probably go out and hang out on the balcony, drink our Cronenberg, maybe watch the sunset because this is an amazing sunset up here. That's going to be another video. I mean, unless I have time now, oh, that's going to be a tough one. It's 6.22. The sunset so usually around 7.38, so that means I'd have to wait about an hour and a half. I don't know if that'll work. I don't even know if they'll let me sit out there for an hour and a half. So I'm going to abandon my seat so that we may explore the balcony. Oh wow, and I can see a blimp in the sky from out here. I think that's pretty amazing. Seriously guys, look at this view. Unbelievable. Wow. This actually might be one of the best views on Disney property only because you can see the Skyliner and then the reflection of the Skyliners in the water, the blimp, you can see Caribbean Beach. It's just an unbelievable view. Wow. A little breathtaking. On this side, you can see the Tower of Terror. You can see Expedition Everest. You can see Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And the sunset happens right about there. Well, that was super nice. The sun actually hasn't set yet, but it's very cloudy out. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here, make a dinner reservation, and actually record a proper sunset from here. Today just wasn't the day. It's just very cloudy, so it's tough to get that good sunset happening. We'll come back though. And unfortunately, we tried for probably an hour straight to get a reservation or to join the walk-up list, and it never happened. So we can't eat here tonight. Instead, we're gonna go down and uh, maybe get a flatbread pizza or a burger from their quick service location. I'm definitely coming back here. I'm gonna have a nice dinner and we're gonna record the sunset. That seems like a good video and a good experience. It's on the list of things to do. 
I hope that they're gonna let me order it actually like somewhere there because I burned up my battery on my phone trying to get on the wait list at Topolino's. And what I was afraid of with that flatbread being provolone cheese, the actual cast member said, hey, you're really gonna taste that provolone. So I decided not to get it. Instead, I got the burger and they said it's a mixture of uh, brisket, chuck, and beef. So I thought that that sounded pretty amazing. So I went with that and uh, some french fries. Pretty simple. I wanted to actually get like a tiramisu, but the tiramisu kind of looked like pudding. It was very strange. There was no coffee soaked cake. While we wait, since I got this fancy tracker, we might as well just enjoy the outside a little bit. It's very beautiful over here, isn't it? This is a very nice resort. I like the music too. Kind of relaxing. One of the things that's really strange to me is just sitting out here watching the gondolas go back and forth. And the same thing with that Goodyear blimp. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's burger time! Oh! And I think we'll take our burger up to our room and eat it at our leisure. And take a look at all the movie posters on the way back up to our room so we can enjoy our burger. But that is awesome. Any of you guys understand them? Like obviously this is Moana, but I like how they actually put the little French movie posters here. Now we're back up in the room. Time to enjoy our burger. And so far, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the burger. It does not look like your generic frozen patty. It might be though. I don't know. We're going to find out. It looks pretty good though. It's strange because I've never actually came up and eaten a resort room. I mean, unless it was like in dine, like in room dining, but it was very crowded down there. So I decided up here is a little bit better and I like it. So let's try this burger. I can tell you right now, that is not like a typical Disney burger. That is full of flavor. It is very delicious and it's actually cooked medium. I'm really happy with this burger actually. That's pretty awesome because usually, like I said, you go to quick service locations, you get kind of like that same burger patty. And because I eat everything plain, I can tell the difference. And this one is amazing. No, seriously, that burger was delicious. If it was a frozen burger, they really impressed me. I mean, I, you know, I can kind of tell maybe it might have been a frozen burger by the texture of it. But it was overall so delicious. I absolutely loved it. Now, I think it's time we head to bed, but uh, the question is, which bed? Is it going to be this bed? No. This bed? Nope, not this one either. Yeah, it's going to be this bed. <laughs> so I guess that's a uh, good night. Got to wake up nice and early so we can have a coffee and a sunrise in the balcony. I'm so excited for that. And I just love this mural. Literally, that's why I wanted to sleep in this bed, just because of the mural. So, uh, good night, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. And good morning. One thing I did not know how to do was shut that light off. So, it was a little hard to sleep last night, but this was very comfortable. I really love this bed. I just felt like a, a big kid in a Dalmatian bed. So, let's go get our coffee going and uh, let's get some sunrise action happening. Like I said before, this is one of those fancy coffee machines. Ooh. Well guys, very sad facts here. After sitting out here for about 35 minutes, uh, I finally realized we're not gonna see the sunrise. As you can see, the sun is starting to peak right there, but it's peaking behind this portion of the resort so we are completely blocked not much we can do i kind of had a feeling that was going to happen but i was like maybe it was just going to be a little bit to the right because i mean you can grab a compass and basically look and say all right it's about 80 degrees east the sunrise is going to come so right now if i was looking directly in that direction we were in that general direction that direction <laughs> 
but I might have an idea. We're gonna have to go. Grab your coffee, do -si do put on your mask, let's hit the road. We're gonna go down to the second floor and we're gonna see what we can get from actually down ground level and then head up to Topolino's when it opens and see if we can catch the end of it. I hope you enjoy the show and incidentally have a handkerchief handy. If you're like me, you're not only going to laugh a lot, but you're going to shed a few happy tears. So thanks for coming. And again, I'm sorry I can't be there with you personally for this occasion. But here now is Follow Me Boy. Wonderful world of Disney. Holy moly, guys. That was amazing. I can't even get over that. And it's just so amazing. Never give up. Never give up. Like I said, I was sitting on the balcony. It wasn't working out. So instead of going back to bed and saying, oh, I missed it, I said no. I made myself another coffee. I ran downstairs. I tried to get some good angles from there. And it was pretty, it was pretty, but then I was like, no, I can do better. And then I went up to Topolino's, which is on the 10th floor, the restaurant. And I was just like, maybe I can get in. So uh, when I got to the 10th floor, as soon as I came out of the elevator, there was a manager that was at the podium and they're open for breakfast, but not till like 7.30, eight ish. And I was just like, hey, any chance I can watch the sunrise from your balcony? And uh, he was like, yeah, yeah, you could. He's like, the only thing is, is that once you go on the balcony, you have to stay out there for a while while we prepare for breakfast service. And I was like, sounds like a plan to me. So this was the best hour and 25 minutes I've spent in a long time. I'll tell you that right now. Wow. And like I said, this is literally one of the best sunrises I've ever had. I loved it here. Look at all of the scenery and then you have the music to go with the sunrise. The sunrise is on this side, so it's kind of like very beautiful, but then it's shining light on some of our favorites like the Tower of Terror, Expedition Everest, the, the gondolas, the Skyliner. It is such a beautiful view up here. And to watch the sunrise from such an amazing place, I feel honored. Seriously guys, that was amazing. I still can't get over it. Wow, mind blown. Now that we're actually back in the room, I want to show you where the sunrise would have happened if we did just stay on the balcony, which I'm so happy we didn't. I'm so happy things played out the way that they did. <sighs> Makes it so much more amazing. We would have missed the sunrise literally probably by, I don't know, what do you say? Three feet? It's literally just right there. Right here. Oh, but it's perfect the way it planned out. Even better, actually. I am so happy. Now we're all cleaned up. I say, let's go ahead and get some coffee. I love the coffee that's in the room, but maybe I want a little of the fancy stuff. I absolutely love this though before we go. You can shut off one light switch for all of the lights, even the bathrooms. Look at this, watch, one light switch. This is pretty cool. I love that. Turn it all back on. And then you can go around and individually turn things on and off. I came back down to Primo, the quick service. I was gonna get like a fancy coffee, but instead I seen on their menu, they have lemon blueberry pancakes. And that just sounded too good. I, t I, I have to try it, have to try it for educational purposes only. Look at those fancy looking things. Yeah, we're gonna get one. Thank you. Oh, maybe add an Italian sausage. I like that. Uh-oh. 
Looks like the fire alarm was pulled. This is interesting. In all my years. Yeah, everyone's getting evacuated out of the hotel. That's pretty crazy. I've never uh, been through one of these. Even the employees are too. Wow, this is a nice little treat. I have to say, these guys are amazing. Everybody is literally calm and it seems like everyone's just really doing a great job. Attention, an emergency has been reported in this building. Please cease operations and leave the building utilizing the nearest exit or fire exit stairway. Do not use elevators. Repeat, do not use elevators. Whenever there's like a fire alarm or something, I always get paranoid like there was something I did. But I know I was outside actually when it went off, so I'm all good. But then I also worry about my room. So you never know. I'm like, oh boy, what happened? What if it's in my room? Like what if I left the TV on and it short circuited and caused a fire? Stuff like that always just gets me nervous. All right, all clear. This all happened because I ordered those lemon blueberry pancakes. As soon as I hit the button, literally the alarm went off. But I'm so impressed by Disney and the way that they handle situations like that. Like that was impressive. All of the cast members just got up and exited very quietly. And they just went around and collected any guests and said, hey, come step outside with us. And literally it was really, really amazing. And then once everything was good and they went back to normal, just kind of, all right, all clear guys. Very awesome. Here they are, my lovely lemon blueberry pancakes. I can't wait to try them. Isn't it so cool that they paged me to come get this order? Paging, Nathan Morrow. And I think I'm gonna take one of these nice little seats over here, eat my pancakes and watch the Skyliner. These are looking delicious, guys. Oh, I'm gonna eat a blueberry. Mmm, fresh. Take a look at those thick pancakes. That's insane, isn't it? And that sausage, that's not like a normal Disney sausage. That's a good Italian sausage. So, I'm going to add a little syrup to these bad boys. Breakfast syrup, all natural. I'm going to do this like kind of... Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. Make sure you get a little bit on there, a little bit down below. Bada bing. Just like that. Perfecto. Holy moly, guys. These pancakes are phenomenal like unbelievable the lemon and the blueberry this is a really good breakfast i'm a little shocked i wasn't expecting like amazing wow and with that i think i am done here i absolutely loved those lemon blueberry pancakes they were phenomenal probably my best quick service breakfast ever and uh yeah i think i'm done here i want to thank uh my friends up in Delaware, they made it possible for me to stay here today and I am so grateful to them because this is a, this was amazing. I've never stayed here. Got to knock this off my Disney bucket list. I am so grateful to be doing these things and making these videos. This is probably going to be the highlight of my life. I hope you guys know that. So, until next time, we'll see you then, okay? Bye! Right before I'm about to head out, my friend Corey, who's a cast member here at the Riviera, said, hey, did you see the sky bridge yet? And I was like, what is that? And he's like, go down this hall and take a look, see, you're gonna love it. So, we're gonna check that out before we go. Oh, wow. I didn't even know this was here. I know where we are. This is where all those pretty murals were. I didn't even know there was like a bridge up here. You never really noticed it, I guess. But that is awesome, isn't it? Wow, I'm so happy they pointed that out to me. I really like it up here. So that's gonna do it. We'll see you next time. Bye.